The true crime documentary called Tiger King took the country by storm, launching on Netflix the same week most cities shut down at the start of the pandemic. It was so popular, producers tell us they immediately started working on season two, and that led them right here to southern Indiana, where our focus investigation into Tim Stark and wildlife in need took center stage. When the new season launches later this week, you will see investigative reporter Shay McAllister as she uncovers the wrongdoing at the facility and authorities moving in to put a stop to it. Tonight, Shay has a behind the scenes look at the making of Tiger King 2. My name's Joe Exotic. This is my way of living, and nobody's gonna tell me any other way. Within 30 days of its 2020 release, more than 64 million households watched Tiger King on Netflix. It came out, it was a, bit, a little bit of a, a sensation, and so they, Netflix said, don't stop filming, just keep going. Louisville-based film editor Doug Abel spent years working on the project, and then he got the call. The show was doing so well, Netflix wanted more. We sort of just followed where the chaos was. A journey he says started right in his own backyard. Well, there's a guy who's about 20 minutes away. I know you're an editor, but would you feel... We know that you do other stuff too. Would you feel comfortable interviewing him? And I said, sure. Come get me, mother... The Netflix series was released just weeks after our investigation, revealing allegations of abuse and neglect at wildlife in need. The Indiana Attorney General filed a lawsuit against Tim Stark after our story aired, and then the USDA revoked his exhibitor's license, meaning he could no longer show his animals to the public. The Tiger King crew was following it all. Tim ended up being... Um a pretty major character. Stark's storyline was less sensational than some of those in season one. <laughs> so what will you see this time around? See these places really struggling to, to stay open and the authorities are coming in and they're using the legal system to uh, take these places to task. He says helping exotic animals was always in the DNA of the Tiger King project, but drama drove it out of the original episodes. With Joe and Carol Baskin and um, that got lost. And so um, it was almost a weekly discuss discussion. It was almost a weekly discussion in the second season. How can we try to keep the focus on that? Um, and so efforts were made to try to, to, to try to do that. Also in season two, cameras capture intense confrontations between Tim Stark and the people fighting to shut him down. I can talk out of the I want. Tiger King is by far the most bonkers, largest, most difficult project I've ever worked on. It just was so hard to figure out how, how do you tell this crazy story. Abel's work from his edit suite on the second story of his Louisville home, soon to be seen by millions across the country. I hope that we can do more justice to the, to the tigers and the other animals this time around. <laughs> the most bonkers. Well, he said it. Tiger King season two launches on Netflix on November 17th.